And caper. Oh, it's you. I'll have another. I'm not sure that's a good idea. This is a bar, is it not? It is. Well, then I'd like another drink, unless, of course, you've run out of booze or lost your liquor license in the last two minutes. Well, we got plenty of booze, and my liquor license is up to date. And what's the problem, Bubba? Are you sure you should be drinking? Why? <laughs> you know something I don't? I was under the impression you uh, swore off alcohol more than a year ago. Well, you're under the wrong impression. So now that we have that cleared up, get over here and pour. A lot of people uh, who love you staged an intervention. If you're referring to the night that I was knocked out and tied to a chair, that was a stupid mistake that even the people you mentioned will tell you was a waste of time. Maybe they could have picked a better way to go about it. But they didn't have a choice after you. After I what? After you killed Elizabeth's son. A good bartender pours without a spout and minds his own business. You asked what my problem was. Jake's death was a terrible accident. You admit you'd been drinking that night. I was not impaired, officer. Jake was four years old. He was in the road. It was dark. I didn't see him. No one, including you, would have seen him. Well, we'll never know, will we? Just like we'll never know how much alcohol was in your system or how your reaction time would have been if you hadn't have been drinking. That's right. We'll never know. Coleman told me you paid to change the name of this place because you didn't want a little boy's name on a bar. You wanted to memorialize Jake in a more fitting way. So I have to ask you, why would you go to all that trouble and then come in here, of all places, and drink? That's the first thing you've said that makes any sense. Why would I? Why would I spend my money in a place where I can't have a drink in peace, where I have to listen to some self-righteous, moralizing ex-cop give me a lecture? Here, thanks for the drink. Keep the change. Ooh, you must really miss Frisco Jones. What was that all about? <laughs> oh, AJ, back so soon? I can't wait to hear the details. Was it an epic fail? Something like that. Luke, I was wondering when you were going to come over and console me on my dreadful experience at the Chew. You do know that it was AJ's relish that poisoned everybody, not mine. I can't wait to tell you how I got AJ to fall on his sword. Turns out you're not the only person that can blackmail his family. No, hello? Hello. What's got you in such a foul mood? Lord. Someone must be responsible for this display of bad humor. Max Scorpio. Really? When did you start feuding with Max Scorpio? If he wants to give sermons, he should have gone to the seminary. Okay, I'll bite. What did Max sermonize about? This. I thought... The last thing I need from a bartender is the 12-step tango. Bubba even brought up the fact that I had that rat hole's name changed because of Jake. Not that there's any of his business, but I did it because I didn't want Elizabeth to have to drive past it every day. I didn't want her to have to have that big red neon reminder of what happened next to the roadside. I was not trying to avoid what happened. There is no avoidance of that little boy's death ever. I just don't need any lectures about it, especially from Max Scorpio. <laughs> the son of a bitch wouldn't even serve me a drink. Can you believe that? I can. 
You're siding with Scorpio? I'm not siding with anyone except you. You came back to Port Charles, you weren't drinking, now you are. I'm not an alcoholic. Have I said a word to you about your drinking? No, I have not. I know you too well. Better than anyone. I knew the reaction I would get if I confronted you. And I want to keep my head, thank you very much. So why are you saying something now? Because you brought it up and I am concerned. Why? Let's see. Because I care about you. You care about me? Did you really just say that? I don't want to lose you to drinking, Luke. I don't want to lose you at all. You won't. Don't get me wrong, there are times I want to strangle you, but I still care about you. I care about you a lot. Likewise.